Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a quick and simple anime banner using Pixlr. Once you're in Pixlr, you're going to want to create a new document and make it 1500 by 500 pixels. We are going to start by adding the background layer. Let's write name. And we're going to be using this font for the video. And then make it much larger. And lower the opacity. Finally, rasterize the layer. The next step is to add all of your pictures that you're going to use. So I'm going to be using these three, which I'm going to put in the description and just position them wherever you'd like. If you're using an image that has the background on it like this still, you can just press this right here, click the background, and backspace, and backspace. There we go. Next, you're gonna wanna size this a little bit differently. Like that. Next, you're going to want to select this layer right here, select select pixels, and then go to this image right here, and then get your eraser tool, and just take that off. Next, you're going to want to select your background color, I'm going with this one right here. Next, you're going to want to add another text layer, but make this one smaller. Around 240. Or maybe a little bit lower. There we go. Next, I'm going to add a motion blur to these two characters right here. Just like that. Select this one. Next, we're going to add an outer glow. So go to filter, outer glow this layer right here and make it a bit bigger same with this one but you're gonna want to rasterize this one we're gonna add some dust particles so select the circle tool and white and then hold shift while making the circles for them to be perfectly round and then just add a bunch of them like this once you've done that you're gonna want to right click the top one and just merge down until they're all on one layer once they're all on one layer you're gonna want to lower the opacity a little bit a bit more and then go to filter and details blur it like that and then motion blur Next, you're going to want to drag in this layer, which is just like a dust overlay. And lower the opacity. 
that's what you get your eraser tool. Something more like that, a bit higher. Okay, the final step is to flatten the image by right clicking, going to adjustment, hue and saturation. You can darken it a little bit if you'd like. I think I'm gonna just darken it a tiny bit, maybe like right there, and then saturate it. Also feel free to change the colors. I'm gonna leave it how it was. I think that looks good. 